and chili and pumpkins, I'm there. Yes, thank you, Gibson. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Well, all week long, the Vols have been gearing up to face Florida on Saturday in the swamp. The goal is the snap Tennessee's eight-game losing streak in the rivalry. That's our goal. And trivia players were about to reveal the answer. I think maybe we just did. I'm not sure the last time the Vols beat Florida was in 2004. <laughs> I've given this away. And, yeah, and for those overachievers, the date was September 18th. We've got a winner, Jessica Weber. You know your stuff. Patrick Murray takes us back to that exciting day. Trailing by seven late in the game, Tennessee faced a fourth and six near midfield when freshman quarterback Eric Ainge found Tony Brown for a 32-yard pickup and a huge first down. That led to Jason Swain's 13-yard touchdown, but sophomore kicker James Wilhoyd missed the extra point. The Vols trailed 28-27. After I missed that, you know, I definitely just had a sick feeling in my stomach. You know, I was just hoping somehow that we'd just get another opportunity. Tennessee got the ball back with 43 seconds left, and Ainge connected with Florida native Chris Hannon to put the Vols in field goal range. With the Neyland Stadium record 109,061 people on their feet, James Wilhoyd got his shot at redemption from 50 yards out. myself after uh, missing that extra point you know I've been so dejected from that that um, 